The Packers come through winning 31-25. Uh, I, I imagine they're connected. Sort them out if you could. The difference here is Aaron Rodgers, three touchdown passes or the Steelers, three turnovers. Yeah, you are, you're obviously going to first look at the turnover margin in any football game, let alone the Super Bowl. But I think when you look at this one, it's what the Packers did to create those turnovers. You look at the first one, Howard Green, great individual effort from the defensive tackle position to push the guard back, get into Ben Roethlisberger's face. Ben throws the interception, turns into a pick six. You get the great play by Bush later on, reading Ben's eyes, jumping an underneath route making the nice interception, and then Bishop and Matthews combining on the hit to jar the ball loose from Hall. Great plays by the Green Bay Packers defense to force those turnovers. And then Aaron Rodgers to throw the ball 39 times in this game <laughs> against a dominant Pittsburgh Steelers defense and to not turn the ball over, simply remarkable. Trent, uh, the Packers become the second sixth seed to win uh, the Super Bowl, joining the 05 Steelers. Uh, there were drop passes in this game. You know, Donald Driver's not playing. Some Aaron throws that got away from Aaron Rodgers. They still move the ball offensively through the air. What was working against this Steelers defense? Well, really, you're talking about a quarterback. And I saw this all week long, talking to Aaron, sitting down with him. They had the look in his eye that he was getting ready to slice and dice a defense. He was very, very comfortable with the game plan. He had total mastery of what was going on. He was throwing the ball in very, very difficult situations. Yes, they spread him out, but they also condensed the formations, his rhythm and timing. Early in this football game, Aaron Rodgers beat the Pittsburgh Steelers with his release. Many times, Woodley was beating Balaga. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers were getting into Aaron Rodgers, and he was able to beat them with his quick delivery, turn sacks into positive yardage, really make this a game that was dictated by the, by the quarterback position for the Green Bay Packers. We're going to talk about a lot of themes in this football game, but the biggest theme in this football game, one person, number 12, was the most dominant player on the football field in Super Bowl 45. His name was Aaron Rodgers. Trent, one of your themes you love is trust. and that, I mean, that's exactly what happened here. I would think it, it, they trusted that we, we don't care what they bring. We're going to throw it 39 times. They were aggressive right from the get-go. Uh, the Packers seemed to put the plan in with every expectations that Aaron Rodgers was going to be great today, and that's how we're going to base our game plan. You said, John, I mean, trust. The, the trust that this coaching staff had in Aaron Rodgers and what they do, they stayed in character. And I think that's really important for people to understand is you look at this stretch that the Green Bay Packers have had offensively and as a football team, it's, be, it's been because they've really ridden Aaron Rodgers, this timing passing game, spreading people out, getting the ball to Aaron's hands quick, and making sure that if the other team gives them some problems, they're going to trust that Aaron Rodgers is going to protect the football. So th that plan worked. They stayed in character, and they weathered some storms and I really think you look at this, there's five huge high impact drops in this football game by the Green Bay Packers they overcame some stuff and it's really kind of tells the story of their season they overcame so much they never flinched mid-season with the injuries in the playoffs getting a six seed the hard road they had to climb and in this game huge momentum switches in this game but they never flinched as a football team and that's maybe the greatest quality you can talk about when you're talking about a football team